Hello friends, how are we today? So let's make ourselves into zombie leprechauns. Even though it's like, th what, three or four days past Sleep Potty's Day? Oops. So the first thing we're gonna do is tape our eyes and then we're gonna go in with ColourPop's Fizz. You can see right here, I tried showing you guys the actual shadow, but the clip I showed you made the shadow look like a doo-doo ass, like diarrhea ass green. It looks disgusting. So I just put a picture so you can see the color in all of its glory. Next, we're going to go into the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. I'm taking this really, really pretty light green. It's really similar to Fizz, but this is a matte shadow. I'm going to go ahead and take that into the outside corner just to start the blending process so that I look does look blended out. But I'm also going to go into a deep forest green, as you saw in that last clip, after I go in with this color first, and then we're going to deepen out that outside corner with that. This part is really optional for you guys. You don't have to do this color. You can substitute it for another color that you guys like, but I really wanted to add some blue into it, so yeah, excuse this part. But next, you're gonna see that I did save some time and did my eyeliner off camera. I did a very dramatic wing on both my eyes. And then we're gonna get into the fun part, which is painting our face green, girl. You're gonna look like the Grinch, girl. So I went ahead and just used a brush that I don't use anymore, that I have no use for. It's super old. You can use whatever brushes you want. If you're a professional, you obviously have your own brushes for this kind of thing. I don't yet. However, this brush suffice just fine. I'm taking a very, very, very thick layer of paint at first just to get it all over our face. And we're going to paint ourselves green, 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 green. When doing this look and when planning it out, I was thinking I really wanted to gear this towards my beginners. So that's the reason why we're going to be using cotton balls and glue to achieve our gory features. So all I'm doing is taking this glue and making a smile or like a mouth outline around my mouth and my face. And we're going to take some cotton balls and just strip them into like skinny little pieces and then place them around that edge of where that paint is. This is going to be the start of our wound area. I must forewarn you that the little hairs that come off these things, you can see right there, it was one, those will irritate the shit out of your nose and they will make you want to sneeze because a couple times I had to stop and reapply because I sneezed the cotton balls off my face. It was not fun. Next, we're going to take smaller pieces of the cotton ball and we're going to roll them between our hands to kind of make skin flaps and we're going to apply them on the outside perimeter of the mouth or the wound area, I should say. And you're going to see at the end of the video, I did put some pictures that this adds something a little bit extra to the look. I really like how it looked. So, yeah. So after all of your skin flaps have been applied to your face, we're then going to take a cotton ball and we're going to separate it. We're not taking anything off of it completely. All we're doing is pulling apart the cotton ball by keeping it together. And what this is going to be is the inside portion of the wound area. And then we're going to get into the blood part, which is my favorite part, which you'll see in a couple minutes. And I'm going to drop this thing after the 500th time of doing that. I freaking hate it. Put some glue on it and we're going to slap it onto our face. And now for the blood, yes. So this stuff I found at Party City for like eight bucks. All I do is put it into the cap, take a brush that's finding its way out of my collection very soon, a brush that you don't use regularly, and we're gonna go ahead and just apply this to the entire wound. The first layer of it, because you're gonna be doing two layers if you would like to do two layers. I do two layers because it looks better. The first layer of it is going to dry to almost like a deepish pinky salmon-y color. That's fine because you're going to do another layer if you'd like. If you want to do just one layer to save some time, do one layer. But I always do two layers so it looks better. So all we're doing is just applying this all over the wound area. Don't 
All right, so that's the finished look with the first application. Now we're going to finish our eyes. I'm taking ColourPop's Cheap Date, and I'm putting that all underneath the brow bone to add some gold elements to it because it's a leprechaun look, guys. You need some gold in there. And then we're going to take a deep, deep green. This is from my Makeup Forever Artist palette. You can use whatever greens you have as long as they're really, really deep in color, almost like a blackish green. And all I'm doing is lining the very, very lower part of the lash line with this all over the place. I really want to add some depth to it, so I'm also going to take it to the inside corner of the eye and make it look like my eyes are more sunken into my head than they are naturally. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil liner and line my eyes, and then we're going to get into the second application of the blood. And with this application, all I'm focusing on is making sure that it looks like a fresh wound. I want the blood to look pooled. This blood, even though it's really, really inexpensive, it does pool very naturally. It flows naturally. It's a very good blood. So if you're looking for a good, like, gory look kind of blood, I highly suggest this one. I will link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. It's really expensive too. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and just stop talking because this is pretty just self-explanatory. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go inside BH Cosmetics palette. I'm going to take a very, very, very light brown and we're going to take that in a flat shadow brush. And I'm going to apply it all over the place just to add some irritation marks to the skin around the wound area. And then that will complete this look, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it's really, really easy for you. I try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to recreate and to achieve. I did this look in collaboration with my bestie on here. Her name is Gigi. I will link her channel down below. And her look is absolutely stunning. I'm so happy that I did this with her because it was the perfect time of year for this kind of thing. I hope you guys enjoyed both of our videos, and if you're from her channel and you're new over here, hi, my name's Ashley, and I'm kind of a fool, but that's the way my channel is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!